All right, everybody, my name is Dominic. We're here for part two of our ROH review with Mullins. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion on the pay-per-view, how things should have been booked, and uh, talking more about the situation of things. I got my yeah. phone case really dirty. Looking at you, Todd. <laughs> so let's start off. Um, what did you think about them starting off in a big fatal four-way match? With uh, Kamataichi, Donovan Dijak, Jay White, and Leo Rush. What was your thoughts That's why, on... like, I'm, I'm big on Ring of Honor, but mm -hmm. this is this was actually my girlfriend's first Ring of Honor event she ever yeah. watched. Yeah. And she she loved the different feel to it. Mm -hmm. She loved how like it felt just so much more excitement, so much more craziness happening mm -hmm. all at once. I don't like in terms of... And I talked about this on my previous one. Um... I don't like how it starts off with like those lower tier guys. I think we should start off big because if you're giving a first impression to someone, we should have someone big, and then you mix in the little guys to make them seem Personally, really important. Personally, I thought the, the, what should have let off the show was either the Shibata mm -hmm. match, or starting it off, the Okada match. They should have started off with one of the yeah, especially because Okada match had really nothing big to it. And the Shibata match, um, yeah, you know how that we, ended. Yeah, uh, Silas yeah, Young, Silas Young <laughs> won it basically. Um, did you like the ending of uh, Donovan Dijak with Prince Nana winning? I wanted. Uh, I had Leo Rush winning that match. In my he prediction. looked really, really good, especially because he was the one taking the pin. Uh, Jay White and. Um, Kamataichi, I didn't think they'd win it because, you know... This was the first, huge... like, time of I actually saw Jay White. And really? I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, fairly decent match, in my opinion. Uh, the Shibata and Silas Young was really good. I liked, I loved the video package I and the hype for it. I loved how hard-hitting it was. Yeah. Compared to, like, how, like, everything in the first match was really, like, quick-paced. Yeah, it was high-flying. And then it was really hard-hitting in that second one. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that variety. It meant a lot. But I think, and we talked about this uh, in the other review a little bit, it's a tricky situation with Todd Sinclair doing the three count on Shibata because one, clearly it wasn't meant to happen. Silas Young wasn't going to go over. Two, that's kind of bad because Shibata's really big in Japan, and if you have him lose in America to Silas Young... Yeah, Silas Young, no what's offense that... to him, he's good but he's he's not a guy who should have been beaten shibata yeah even on accident yeah i think there's some people you can get away with if they went on accident i.e lesnar but we're just gonna leave that out there if it really was an accident or not i'm just saying like yeah but paul Heyman has me thinking anyways. yeah has me thinking it might be but that's not one that i would say was an accident you know clearly if if silas young would have beaten Shibata it would have been really big it would have been a big shock however I think it could have been the one that you knew it wasn't supposed to happen you knew that it would be kind of bad for a relationship in terms of New Japan and ROH because New Japan would be like hey you just snubbed our guy like yeah like, you, like this is Shibata this isn't like you know the Yujihiro Takahashi thing you know or someone that you know is used to getting snubbed for no reason this is someone like big in Japan. Like he he jumped from uh, Noah right to yeah to, went, to, to yeah, New that's, Japan. They, they they were really putting over the whole Noah stuff on commentary. Yeah. Oh the heck yeah! Freaking him in the headbutt. I remember that it was crazy. Um. So there was that match. After that, we had the uh, three on three. Yeah. Which that, that was, was like, our first club first three on three. Is... Yeah. It was Bullet Club, which was Grills of Destiny and Yujihiro Takahashi, my boy right there. He needs to come out with his Asian girl. In Tokyo my... Pimp. Yep. And uh, they took on Rapungi Vice and Toroyano, who's... Goodness, this man is getting, like, one Did heck of a... Did I hear them a... say that Rocky Romero sings the Rapungi Vice He theme? does. It actually, it was on the little disclaimer thing for the copyright, saying that he did sing it. Um, and I love how Toroyano's, like... He's like he just has no idea about the music. He's like I don't care. I love like, how yeah, his, whatever. <laughs> his one word, his one word that he knows is rape. Rape. He was like rape, rape, rape. When freaking um, Tomatonga was like chasing him around the ring. Goodness, that was <laughs> something. 
that was something. Uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, of course, Japan guys are gonna win because, or not, you know, Bullet Club guys, but the Rapungi Vice and Toriano because Japan guys. So yeah, Japan guys. Get, yeah, they're gonna go that, over. That's the story yeah. of the evening. Yeah, especially because uh, Okada and um, Dalton Castle oh. was after that. Oh yeah. Uh, Okada wins. LOL because IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Am I right? Yeah. After that, I, and the, the thing is, I mm -hmm. saw something, and I'm cool with the, with the match we ended up getting anyway. Yeah. But I had seen something where he said that he was gonna be where he was challenging Liger, is, and I thought that was for this. I don't know. It's. Well, did Liger not get cleared to do it, or? I don't know. We'll get into uh, another crazy thing that I just heard about, which I hope it's not 100. percent But then again, wrestling I swear is 100. Percent. I watched a promo with him calling Liger out. Mm -hmm, you probably did. I think I think that's one that I can recall too. But I mean, you know, Silas don't go out Chibata too, so you can get some matches and you get you can't get some. So after the Okada match, what, or actually roll it back, I messed up. After uh, the Toriano match, um, Toriano got was trying to get hung by Adam Page from the Bullet Club, who then was attacked by. Uh, Jay Briscoe, who then they had a match looked like Adam Page got injured by his leg really badly, but he still got the win, which was really good for him in my opinion. Him getting the win on Jay Briscoe was really good. So, yes, that was that, yeah. that's a lot, huge of, for lot him. of blood for on Jay on his back, but I think in terms of Jay not tapping out is a good story. Jay didn't tap; he took the he took the pin. So. It's good, yeah, because it shows that he didn't give up. He took, he he just couldn't handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's get into um. All right, after that was the Okada match. Dalton Castle lost, and then after that was the Mark Briscoe and do 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 Bobby Fish, um, for the TV title. Yeah, TV Bobby Fish, title. Bobby Fish wins. And that for was the most one part, of, that was one good. of my underrated matches on the card. Yeah, I I got back. <sighs> Because this is where I left. I left during the Okada and that match, and I came back and watched it. And I was actually pretty... I really liked that last um, Bobby Fish match. That was really good. Yeah. That it was, was very good. underrated. Like, that's one that mm -hmm. you might not hear a lot of... You might not hear a lot about it, mm -hmm. but that definitely deserves a lot to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And this pay-per-view was about three hours, right? It was pretty long. Yeah, ish. Like, they... And the craziest part is they went... you. Like the way it was looking, you thought, mm -hmm. "Oh, they they might roll through this pay per view because you had four matches in the first hour." Yeah, but I mean, we had a lot of matches though, like yeah, a like lot of like, wrestling matches. So they rolled through four matches in one hour, and it still went three hours long. Mm -hmm. Um, after this was the uh two v two v two, I think, right? Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Because um, that was the that was the co main event. Addiction. Uh, Los Ingrenables de Japón, which is Evil and Tetsuya Naito. Goodness, that man should be world champion still. Don't know why they dropped the belt on him. And then it was Tanahashi and... Tanahashi Elgin. And, Elgin, and Michael Elgin. Tanahashi and Michael Elgin is the most randomest tag that team, in my opinion. That was the most thrown together But it's, it's been... It's ever. happened a while now, okay? Like, I'm gonna say it's happened a while. It's because they're both really tight and all that. Um, in Japan also, but I'm not... It's like Rockstar... Rockstar Tanahashi like and then like you, that's like something you just randomly like generate together. Yeah. Um what do you think about that match? Full on. I re I, I really enjoyed it. Again, mm -hmm. another company that does really good multi-man matches. Mm -hmm. Uh they they get everyone involved. It's not like it's not like where like certain multi-man matches where you'll see just only a couple guys are really doing stuff and the rest of the guys are just kind of there as like filler. Mhm. Mm Everyone had a had a part in this match. Uh, I, th I this is the match where I am surprised that the Jap that that a Japanese team didn't win. The team from NJPW didn't win. I think because you had to have, um, you had to have the addiction retained though, because you had to have that those titles. It, it was their it was their titles. They probably couldn't have the NJPW yeah. guys come back over to defend them. Yeah, they didn't want to keep. Remember how that happened over. last time? Tomohiro yeah, Ishii. With, uh, yeah, yeah. Ishii. Ishii had that TV title. Yeah, and then Ishii got the loss against Bobby Fish, I believe, which was like, wow. Yeah, because um, Ishii is like three times his size. Ishii is also 
very stiff in the ring. Very yeah. knock you the heck out. Stone Bulldog or whatever it was. Um, main event time. Adam Cole, baby. Yes. And Jay Lethal the, from the house. This Hall. is the moment I had been waiting for for mm -hmm. months. He dropped the belt. What did you think? Did you think it was good? Bad? Do you think I it, think it just was, do? It was time. It was time. It was time. He he had a great run. Mm -hmm. He, for all intents and purposes, he may end up somewhere else by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. That may, is a he, true one too, though. He may end up. He may not. He may be in a different company by the end of the year. Yeah. I'm not going to speculate as to what company, but I think we know which company I'm referring to. And JPW. <laughs> Yeah, just, maybe. just get rid of Kenny Omega's push. This is where you give it to Adam Cole. Yeah, this is where you just give give it to Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal yeah. takes everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I like this. I think it was you know it was in just uh time for Lethal to drop the belt. Yeah. So he, he had it for how long did he have the title? He held it over a hundred some days. Uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had it for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember how long because it's just like. The most memorable matches of his were, I guess you know, one of his early ones. But then like the Cabana was a, was like a really big Cabana one. Cabana was a good one, but then yeah. it got interrupted by the, the yeah. match that got interrupted. The match that was pretty good that got interrupted by the Bullet Club when they all attacked everybody in cold during the Bullet Club. Yeah. Here's something that was crazy. At the end, Adam Cole won the title and then was attacked by Kyle O'Reilly. However. We've been doing some research until then, and it's looking like the next pay-per-view, Field of Honor, I believe that's what it's called, yes, will feature, all right, get me here, Jay Lethal versus Adam Cole versus Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Tetsuya Naito. Where's Kyle O'Reilly? <laughs> what, what was the point in that whole thing, then? And someone said Kyle O'Reilly, oh, he's facing Shibata. Shibata. Why? Okay, like, still, let's get this clear. Oh, you're going to have this guy attack at the end of a pay-per-view, and you're not going to put him in the next pay-per-view? No. This is um, why no. the Ring of Honor and JPW thing confuses the hell out of me. Because they got to have that good maintain aspect ratio of putting their guys over and putting the New Japan guys over. Because so the, and, and you can't bury certain people in exactly, each company, so you have exactly. to completely even everything out a little bit. My big question, um, if you had a big problem with Lethal finally dropping the belt, how is Tanahashi going to take the loss? Yeah, how in the hell? How he's, are they going to like have Tanahashi take the loss? Easily one of the top five guys in the world. Yes, so that's going to be a crazy one if he I'm takes the loss to Adam Cole. I'm talking about the world. Yeah. So that's gonna be crazy. Who takes the loss to Adam Cole at Field of Honor? Um, yeah, because they're not gonna have Adam Cole drop the belt. I don't think they'll give the ROH World Title to a New Japan guy, which would be crazy. Like, yeah. and I don't think they'll and, give it back to Lethal. Unless there's someone that's gonna take an extended period over here in the states. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the, they should have done Kyle O'Reilly. Okay, they should have just hyped the heck out of that. I mean, really hyped the heck out of it. I mean, Tanahashi. Lethal, Naito, and Cole all sell. Without a doubt, they sell as a pay per view. Yeah. However, that, that's a huge match. That's, if you look that, at the previous like pay per view, match. like you have to watch it previous pay per view. How did it end? It'd be like if, it'd be like if you had. Well, I guess that that is kind of what happened because it's like, you know, Lethal, and Cabana, and then Lethal, and Cabana gets interrupted by, Adam Cole. Maybe. And now is the time when Adam Cole got the, the shot to really win the belt. So, I don't know, things are kind of confusing and not confusing at the same time. It just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't make sense in terms of, in my my opinion, how things are placed on the card and how things are placed, you know, with the whole this New is Japan the problem. friendship. Well, the, this is the sole problem mm -hmm. that companies that are 80% wrestling, 20% story have to deal with. Yep. So... Because they don't have enough story to actually explain things, and they worry more about the okay. Well, this is just a great match to put on. But when they have stories, they're great. Like, freaking B.J. Whitmer and Steve Carino. Dude, I'm telling great. you, the, yeah, like that's a great story. I'm telling you, the whole Bullet Club thing's been a great story. Mm -hmm. Since it's Adam a good Cole wrestling joined. story in general. 
Like all throughout yeah. the rest of the world, it's a great story. So, um, since it, since the Bullet Club even started way back when with uh, Prince Devitt. Yep. So, there's that. Um, final thoughts. Um, I'm thinking that this whole weekend is going to be a pretty good weekend as it pertains to professional wrestling. Bullet Club representatives. Yes. Um. I'm telling or, you this, or this Japan, could be a good Japan guys. I guess we can say that yeah. too, right? Because Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, like and, uh, I think Devitt, this, so. this is about to be a real big yeah. evening. It's gonna be a big couple real days. Real big weekend. Yeah. Little do you know, Conor McGregor is actually a Japan guy, also. <laughs> Little do you yeah. know. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Uh, time for our favorite part of these reviews. Um. How many Toriyano yelling rape at Tamatanga pretending to be a bulldog and taking the loss, even though he's Samoan? I'm going to get, I'll give it a nine, mm -hmm. with the only one thing getting taken off of was that that refereeing in the Shibata match. Mm hmm. Um,. I believe in my last review I said I gave it like an 8 or an 8.5, 8. so I'll still say, you know, an 8 or an 8.5 there because it's just my opinion of positioning on the match card. Um, clearly the obviousness of the New Japan guys really getting crazy over in this push. Um, so, I mean, if you compare the ROH to New Japan ratio in Japan compared to the Japan to ROH ratio in ROH, much different like there's much yeah, very, more very. there's much more bigger named roh uh or japan guys in roh and then in roh they've kind of given like lower tier guys to japan to build up which is great yeah, like, which is great i, I so, mean i guess that's a good place to put them over if you yeah. get them over in another country they'll come back here and, because america is the place where oh if they're over in japan you'll love them when they come back here yeah yeah so I don't, I don't know if it's like that in Japan. I don't know if they're like, oh my gosh, they're over in America, and then they come back. I don't know. Well, but, at least um, that's what Vince McMahon thinks. Yeah. When you send, it, when you send yeah. people over We're to bringing Japan. bringing Shinsuke back for you. And Tensai. The club. So, oh, no. no Tensai. All right. So, until next time, everybody, keep it safe.